Hi, so you want to set custom authentication on your request to the REST service in your Mendix app. How do you do that securely and handle the response appropriately? Follow me to studio and I will show you. In this demo app, I have already configured the security and added a anonymous user role to access our application anonymously. I also have already added a published REST service in our application and I will open it up. These are all default values and I have added a resource with a get endpoint there. Now I will show you what will happen when you add a custom authentication method and don't allow the username password option or the active session option. If you add the custom authentication method uh, Mendix will uh, ask you for a microflow which will handle the authentication for you. So let's create one. Select one. The authentication handler. Let's open it up. This authentication handler um, can be scaffolded by Mendix or you can build it up yourself. It's um, retrieving a HTTP request and it's always uh, giving back to Mendix a user object. Because we want to allow anonymous users to our um, REST service, we can return a empty there. But what we want to do is um, only allow the requests that have a authentication key, a correct authentication key. So we want an input parameter of an authentication key and verify in our microflow if this authentication key is correct. For now, the authentication key is any a, a given fixed uh, string. So random phrase one to three will will do. And we also specify a end event for a situation where we don't have the key or the key is false. We also give a empty return there. And now we see that we have one error in our REST service. If you add any input parameter to your authentication handler, you need to configure the parameter before. Mendix need to know how to handle this parameter. So we allow on a REST um, request a authentication key header, which is type string, and we map it to our authentication key input parameter. If we now run this application and we want to access this get endpoint, before we access this endpoint, Mendix will first um, follow and execute this flow and we check out if the key is correct. If yes, we continue this path. If it's not correct, we follow this path. And in the end of the get resource, we will uh, give the user a message, great, you have access. So let's run and verify in Postman um, if our authentication is working correctly. I've opened up Postman, a application where you can simulate um, requests to a REST server. See if our server is already up, not yet. There we go. So if we uh, go over here and specify a auth key, that is random phrase one, two, three. Let's say go in. Now we get a response from our Mendix application that has a status 200, which is an okay status. And we have the message, great, you have access. All right, that's good. But what will happen if we don't have this authentication key? Let's run it again. Eh, we still have access. That's not what we want, right? So how can we mention that this authentication key handler 
if it's not correct, prohibits the user and the requests to continue. For that, we need an extra input parameter. So add an extra input parameter, choose an object, and search for HTTP response. That's a system entity. You don't need to map it. Um, Mendix know how to uh, well, scaffold that object bef yeah, before you. But if you have it included as an input parameter, now you can use it and change this object. We add the HTTP response object and change the item status code. We make it 401. That's the code for unauthorized access. And for human readable, we also make a nice message. Authentication filled, and that's fine. So we now run it again. And see, okay, we will not use the authentication here. We get a 401 unauthorized response with the message authentication field. If we add the auth key, we still have access to our endpoint. So that's the way how you can add a basic custom authentication to any REST service in your Mandex application. I hope you found this valuable. If so, please hit like. If you have any questions left, uh, leave them in the comments and I will uh, try to follow up as, as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.